So we will s Hello my fellow Latter Day Saints, Kenzie Rachel the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Asia. Easter Sunday has arrived, so happy Easter to my fellow egg hunters. I'll more than likely try and do some egg hunting tomorrow, but in... Uh, I say tomorrow because I'm recording this on the Saturday and it will be up uh, late, uh, today, in fact, uh, because like I said, I'm recording on Saturday, I'm going to have this uploaded on Sunday. Nevertheless, the next episode, Dog Trouble. Here we go. Usuals apply for when I'm uh, pointing out sins or sin retractions. So, here we go. <laughs> Straight away, they're still using the same music. When are they going to use the iconic Tom and Jerry theme we all know and love? How long is that thing anyway? Where's the, where's, where's the big pile of that big thing? It should be right there, given how long it was. Whiskers are not that flexible to be able to do that. Sin retracted for Jerry not answering the front door and going through the back. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that uh, do a little bit of squeaking? Okay, hold up. When did that mousetrap appear? It wasn't there earlier. It wasn't there when Jerry was running around the corner. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, and I'll say it again until the end of the series. Mice do not like cheese! Jerry toying with his prey. Seriously. Jerry's just like, yep, that's it, I've had enough. Jerry forcing punishment on Tom. Good grief. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> there wouldn't be any delay in the mousetrap activating. As soon as you as soon as you go if you press your finger on the mousetrap, clip, that's it, snap, right out of the gate. No delay. <laughs> Also, the mousetrap wouldn't be doing that. And this is where the trouble ensues. Conveniently crashing into Spike's lips. I call that a convenience? And I'm giving it a sin as a result. Uh, hang on a second. Do dog do dogs really hate cats? I don't know. After being scratched by a cat, some dogs can become fearful of cats. Hmm. Not in Spike's case. Not in Spike's case because you heard Spike. He comes down upon thee with great vengeance and. Furious anger! Those who... I, I can't even finish that quote. Somebody finish the quote in the comments, please. I'll take two sins off for, um... The team actually doing their research, because it turns out mice are scared of cats. And dogs really hate cats. Minus two sins for doing their research. Good job, boys. And girls. <laughs> Tom wouldn't be able to run that fast on just two legs. Also, there's no way he'd be able to support himself on that lamp and lift his tail up to avoid being bitten by Spike at the same time. Jerry's loving this. He loves seeing Tom suffer. Bike 
thinks Jerry's laughing at him when in reality Jerry's laughing at how unfortunate Tom is. <laughs> And uh, I'll be taking a sin off for the eloquent demonstrating of the mice smelling fear. The of the clock moves back into the clock very conveniently as soon as Sly gets to the top, just narrowly missing being bitten. Well, that's convenient. Twice that's happened, two sins. Tom, yes, it's 50 years before he was actually created, but still. Tom, you're not Sonic the Hedgehog. There's no way you'd be able to shoot up that quickly. And he ends up in the exact same position he was in before. That's how Spike should have done it first time! No, 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 no. As soon as that happens, the laws of physics and gravity should come into play and you fall straight down, unfortunately, into Spike's mouth. Kaboom! Game over. That should not be possible! Again, with the unrealistic long stretching, it doesn't work. The floor shouldn't creak, because those are not floorboards. And again, with the running on two legs, that should not work. We hear the damage being caused, but we do actually see the damage throughout the entire episode. Dear me, two pieces of damage that are not seen. Two sins. <laughs> Saving yourself in a nick of time cliche. <laughs> this is one of those rare instances where they do actually work together to try and take down uh, a common evil. But, um... Small logic gap with that one, because cats and mice do not work together. Therefore, this should not be happening! Again with the unrealistic Sonic the Hedgehog speed of getting up to the top of the cuckoo clock. Whiskers are not that stretchy. It's not Stretch Armstrong you're playing with, Jerry. You happen to be trying to save Tom. Again, the laws of physics would have uh, told this completely differently. Spike causing massive damage to Tom, and Tom would have just fallen as soon as that last whisker snapped. Game over. <laughs> Shouldn't have had any trouble staying up on that cuckoo clock. No, 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 absolute, absolute no, no, big no, no, that does not happen. Double whatever the sing count is right now, just move on, double the sing count because that isn't working. <laughs> Undistinguishable whispering to signify that there's a plan about to take place, cliche. And of course the obligatory winking at each other to commence the plan. Tom toying with his prey. Goodness me. Also, how long is that one piece of wool? Jerry would have caused a lot of damage by this point because there's no way the wool should be able to do that. Come on, 
Tom, that's just insulting at this point. This backs up my point! That backs up my point! How long is that ball of wool? No. Just no. Why you overstuck Pekingese dog, you? What are you doing wrecking up the house? Wrecking up the house and then he deliberately wrecks a glass. Good grief. Now, unless that was set up earlier, that mousetrap shouldn't be behind those curtains. And apart from that, even if the trap was set up, wouldn't the, uh, wouldn't part of the curtain get caught in the trap anyway? Oh boy. This is definitely going to be fun to put together. Uh, so yeah, um, with that in mind, I will see you guys again uh, very soon. Uh, there'll be no videos uh, for the next week. I'll be back on the 9th when I come back from Manchester, because uh, I'll be celebrating my birthday weekend down there. I'll keep you up to date with all my uh, shenanigans down there, with it being my birthday weekend, and WrestleMania next week as well. Boop, 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 WrestleMania! Anyway. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the thumbs up, and if you want to be baptised and converted into this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom, click the bell to join the Mormon Notification Squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. I've got yesterday's uh, Tom and Jerry Sins on the left, and on the right, my dedicated Tom and Jerry Sins playlist. So, hope you guys enjoyed your Easter. I will see you guys next week. Have a fantastic day. Undistinguished from black. Nope. Undistinguishable whispering to a, uh, again with the unrealistic launch stretch. The, uh, hang on, again at a convenience. Uh, the the clock the the cuckoo for the cuckoo. The, uh, <clears throat> I used to be able to. Draws <clears throat> my voice breaking. Also, let's just get one thing clear, and I will say this again until I get to the end of the series. Mice! Last. Hang on. Sin retracted, uh... Sin retracted already, how's about that? <laughs> anyway, Sin retracted for, uh... To uh, Jeb. Nope.